Here we have a $40 spinner. Here we have a $220 spinner. And finally we have a $425 spinner. Is it worth it? Let's find out. Hi everybody, Stefan from EDC Austria here. And today I got in the Pepiaka S from Custom Knife Factory. Of course it came with the customary sticker and the chocolate, although I did get only one chocolate and I ordered a knife and the spinner, so I kind of feel cheated there. And here is what you've been waiting for. You open the package, you see the branded microfiber cloth, which is a very, very high quality cloth. And here it is, the $425 spinner, which was a collaboration between Custom Knife Factory and the designer who is spelled S-N-E-C-X, Snash or Snacks, I don't know. And as for the question why this spinner is so expensive, it's really down to the machining. It has a lot of parts, it has over 20 parts that had to be put together. And usually a spinner like this, this is a $40 spinner, consists of one big part, a bearing container and the finger tabs and that's it. And here you have over 20 parts that interlock and that's not even counting the bearings, which are two supposedly in this spinner, although the pads don't run individually from each other, although I don't think that would have been good for spinning. But you also can't open it without using force and I don't really want to ruin my spinner on the very first day. CKF never hit the fact that they don't care about spin times. When I got it a few hours ago I got up to 1 minute and 30 seconds and now I'm up to about 2 minutes. We'll do a spin test later but for regular fidgeting and even for watching it, watching it, watching it, it's more than enough. I think it's because it's lubricated, because really even with all my tri spinners I've never came across one that is as smooth as this one and that I think can only be managed by, by some lubrication which you can remove if you put the whole thing in isopropyl alcohol that will get rid of the lubrication but it will also not run as smooth. And here you can see the fine machining here, the finger grooves that were built, the holes that were drilled here, the grooves locking the parts together. So this, this is really a piece of art. Their last spinner, the Pepiacus 3, was already a big, bit more complicated than other spinners. It had the finger pads, it had stainless steel cap, then it has brass weights, then it has some titanium and in the middle you have kind of a steel block. So these were nine parts I think all together. And the, the new one is over 20 parts and what is really the expensive thing today is all the machining time for the little parts. It's much easier to just put a piece of metal in the machine and let it finish your spinner for you. But here this has all been hand assembled and very well I might add. This is a fantastic piece of engineering. Which brings me to the main question of this video. Is it worth spending 425 or 399 if you had the coupon code which was Pepiaka Spinner is best spinner? It's good English right there. Uh, but if you like good engineering and if it's worth a bit to you, you also here see some nice milling work. If this is worth some money to you, 
then this is a good spinner for you although it's honestly not one that i would take with me if i didn't go by car if i had to travel in public transit which i hate anyway this would not be my spinner of choice but it is actually quite sturdy and this time they really got rid of the wobble even though Dry spinners have almost no wobble. This one I can honestly say has no wobble. So if you hold it, you can't really move anything here. It's fantastic. And this one, even if the spinner bubble bursts, which it kind of already has, but even if those become worthless, the pepiacas especially this limited one will retain its value so you'll always be able to sell this one if you get fed up with it that is if you keep it in good condition i would say let's wait to see what we are dealing with here so this one comes to 51.2 grams just for comparison, the PPRK3 comes to 63 grams and the very dapper spinner, which is the stainless steel version, comes to 79.5 grams. From the spinning times, I can only assume that these are R188 bearings, which usually guarantee a long spinning time, but again, these are breaking in and in the short time that I've had it I already was able to increase my running time by 45 seconds without even spinning it that much. But I wanted to make the review to show you guys because I, when I pre-ordered it it said that it will be delivered until mid of august and i was so happy when i ordered the knife last week to see that this one has been shipped too although i didn't really believe it so that's why i was nervous the whole week which isn't good in my current health condition but anyway i was very happy to receive it by the way the distance from one arm to the next is 6.3 centimeters so about what you get from a regular tri spinner or a bar spinner as well because if you line them up like this they are about the same size it has a bit small finger pads i have to say this might be a problem for some people but then again it's so light and so smooth and the finger pads are nicely elevated so i don't really foresee a problem with that okay let's check out the spin time on this here you can see the time from a previous try that was just a few minutes ago because i filmed the video already but wasn't happy with it so that was 2 minutes and 15 seconds so let's try to beat the time So you see it each time spinning it gives you an additional 5 seconds so I assume when I've broken it in it will land at around 4 minutes with this weight. As for if you should buy one that's really up to you. Do you appreciate really high engineering? really great engineering and some thought behind the spinner or are you really just interested in fidgeting 
because if you fit just want to fidget then this is wasted money for you that you could better use elsewhere if you if you like the fine engineering that has gone into creating this very elegant spinner some edges here some nice milling here you got drill holes here here are the screws to holding it together this is really a marvel of modern engineering so for me it's worth the money a hundred percent and even if i should fall on hard times or get tired of it i could easily sell it for at least market price but as limited as they were i think i could get 600 no problem and since i got it so early i thought i get the review out right away but the only thing that would have changed with a later review might be the spinning times because i'm not gonna open this up because both from Russia with knives and CKF are very clear that when you open them by force you void all warranty and warranty with a Russian company is already a bit of sketchy story so I'm not gonna use any force on this spinner and it really doesn't look like there's a lot of spaces where some lint or other stuff can fall in so i think this won't need to be disassembled at any point i'm really having a lot of fun with it let me know your thoughts on this spinner please comment if you want one if you would buy one if you wouldn't buy one and give me the reasons for both and also like the video if you enjoyed it and for future reviews of spinners knives flashlights whatever rations please subscribe have a great day bye bye